As we continue to break down the 2023 Fordham Football Rams, we complete our breakdown of the defense with a look at the defensive backfield. The 2023 Fordham defensive backfield will be a solid mix of experienced returning players to go with talented newcomers. The Rams return a pair of starters from 2022, led by team captain Stephen Williams, a preseason All-Patriot League selection, along with sophomore Alex Kemper. Williams, a three-year starter, recorded 60 total tackles, including three for a loss last fall. He was third on the team in total tackles, and he added three interceptions and 14 pass breakups, both team highs. Kemper enjoyed a solid freshman season, starting six games at cornerback, recording 19 total tackles, and he had two interceptions, returning one for a score. Other returning players with experience in the defensive backfield for the Rams include seniors Cameron Blair, Niall Perkins, Dion Montgomery, Sam Hare, and Jed Denobly, juniors D. Rice Williams, Garrett Williams, and Trey Bradford, and sophomores Jalen Evans and Nick Pascarella. Blair saw a limited action last fall after recovering from an injury, which caused him to miss the entire 2021 season, while Perkins appeared in eight games in 2022, starting two at cornerback, making six total tackles. Montgomery saw action in four games as a junior, recording three solo tackles on the year, while Hare appeared in eight games in his first season at Fordham after transferring from Ohio Wesleyan, and Denobly saw action in one game as a junior. Bryce Williams appeared in 11 games as a sophomore, making 18 total tackles and recording a pair of pass breakups, while Williams played in nine games in his first season at Fordham, starting three at cornerback and recording 17 total tackles. Bradford appeared in nine games as a sophomore, making four stops on the year, while Evans did not see action as a freshman, and Pascarello saw action in four games in his rookie season. Newcomers to the Fordham defensive backfield include freshman Justin Johnson, Nate Lindsay, Andrew Osman, and Matheny Paul Swinson. Johnson was a first-team All-CIF pick at Carlsbad High School in Carlsbad, California, where he was rated the number 14 recruit in the San Diego section, while Lindsay was a member of the 2022 state championship squad at Aliquippa High School in Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. Osman was a two-time All-State selection at Spring Grove Area High School in Spring Grove, Pennsylvania, while Paul Swenson played high school football at the McDonough School in Owings Mill, Maryland. Well, Stephen, uh, two weeks into camp here, how's it going so far? It's going well, having a good time out here. Excited to be back, sure. Now, uh, you're back for a fifth year. What went into that decision for you to come back for that extra year? Honestly, uh, it, was, it was quite easy. It's been a long time brewing us something special here with this program. I'm just, I just really want to be a part of it when it all comes together. I think it's coming together pretty soon. Now, uh, in defensive backfield, you got a good mixture of returning veterans and some, some newcomers who are, are pretty talented. Exactly. What's kind of the message you're giving to those new guys to kind of get them ready for college football? Uh, just consistency every day. We've got a bunch of new guys with great talent, just trying to work on it, perfect our technique, and just effort to the ball every play. That's it. And you seem to be having a lot of fun as a defense out there. Uh, is that something that's trickling down from the coaching staff, or is that something from within that you guys are? are oh, yeah, I about? think I don't even think it's just the whole the coach staff. So I just think it's the whole team, offense, defense. I think we're all just having a great time out here, like just perfecting our crafts, getting better every day, and just ready to, for the season. Honestly, great. Thanks, Steve. Sorry, thank you.